Okay, so this is a modification to a T8 fluorescent tube replacement. Um, this is an LED tube, and an LED tube requires AC going into it rather than the ballast that a fluorescent fixture provides. And I'm going to convert this just to a simple light tube without a fluorescent fixture. And to do that, I am going to make the AC end up going into one end, so I'll have a hot and a neutral right here, rather than the way this tube is configured, you put hot in this end and you put the neutral in at that end. So the other end is right here, which I already, I cut the wire off for that already, and I'm going to pull the wire through this tube so I'll have it on both ends over here. And what I just did here is I unsoldered the DC that goes onto the power strip inside so that I can pull the power supply out and the wire, the other end of the AC line. I'm going to pull it all the way out. And what I will do is in here I'm going to cut that copper bridge between the two posts and one bridge will have the neutral, the white wire or one side of the post I guess I should say will have the white neutral wire and then I will solder on this into the other post so that you'll have a hot and a neutral right here alright so I ended up cutting that bridge I just used a pair of dikes to cut it and then I bent up this side to pull it away and bent the other side up and I'm going to solder the black wire to that side over there okay so I just soldered the hot wire onto the other leg and now what I will do is shove the wire and power supply back into the LED tube housing and re-solder the red and black wires onto the LED strip that's inside the tube. And that'll be it. Alright, so I slid it all back inside and now I am going to re-solder these wires back onto here and then screw this end cap back on. Alright, so it's soldered back on <clears throat> and now I will push this cap on and screw it on and then I'm going to do a uh, continuity check to make sure that nothing is touching the aluminum housing for safety. Alright, so I have it screwed back on and now I'm going to do a continuity check between each post here to the aluminum housing to make sure that nothing is shorted and then I can plug it in alright so it checks out continuity wise and now you may wonder how I'm going to plug this in without a fluorescent light fixture so I bought an extension cord, a two wire extension cord with this type of an end on it and it almost fits but it doesn't so what I do is I take a PVC pipe cutting tool and I slice it right down the center so that now I can splay this apart slightly and you want to get it <clears throat> right down the center so you don't expose any metal on each side and now this can just plug right into there <clears throat> like that and you can plug it in and voila you've got a light and now this light can be hung wherever you want in your garage but what I did in the garage is I just took some uh, uh, rope, not rope, um, I took some twine basically and just made a loop and stapled it to the ceiling of my garage on this end and on that end and it just hang in there and it provides really good light and the nice thing about an LED light is in the winter when it's cold it still lights up just fine where fluorescent tubes tend to 
have a hard time starting in the cold weather. All right, so let's give a demo of this. I'm going to plug it into the wall. And there it is. Very simple and easy, and it looks nice. I mean, it's, you know, I've, I've done a lot of LED light strips like I've done here. And that's nice for under cabinets and such, but it's um, a little more work to do than this, actually. The conversion takes, you know, 15 minutes or something, and that's it.